All right, we're in part four of the video series of building an e-commerce store using WordPress and WooCommerce. Part four, this will be part four, part four A, because I decided to break up. We're going, because we're adding different types of products, I'm going to break this up. In this particular video, what we're going to do is we're going to add some product categories. We're going to add a basic product and a virtual product. A couple plugins that are free. Uh, we're going to make an adjustment to the images that we set up in the first video series I don't like the sizes so we're going to make a quick adjustment on that as well so we'll start with the images so we're going to tweak our images if you recall the first video we said image this size is 298 by 228 by 298 we're going to change it to this size so it can fill up the entire container there which would be 412 by 244 so we're just going to do that real quick so we can get our images looking a little bit better and we're going to go to settings media and remember in WordPress settings we want square images so we're going to do 450 by 450 I know that's a little bit bigger but that's fine we'll have it a little bit bigger we're going to let WooCommerce take care of the actual size in there we'll do that by going to settings that was for the medium size by the way products display and be sure and go down and single product image you want 412 by 244 that's if you're using a canvas theme you'll of course you'll want to figure out what your theme is doing and set those appropriately okay now that we have the that set any images going forward will be the correct sizes so what do we do about images that we already have which I have one but say you had a bunch well we want to just get WordPress to go ahead and make all the new images for us so we're going to go to tool actually we're going to go to plugins add new this is a free plugin you're going to get it's called regenerate thumbnails and you'll see it right here Not, it's like 900,000 installs as of this video it's probably going to be more by the time you see this video it's by Viper Bond 007 or Viper 007 Bond mine's already installed go ahead and install that and you'll want to go to tools regenerate thumbnails and it's going to regenerate all the sizes you have set up in your WordPress settings media settings it's going to resize everything that it needs to be based off the biggest picture you you got it's not going to go in and try and enlarge a small picture or anything like that it's going to take your biggest image you uploaded and it's going to make new thumbnails with it okay and we can verify that quickly just by going to add a new post add media we'll add that and we're going to go look and see the sizes is made remember i changed mine to 450 by 450 there it is we don't actually have to make the post we're just verifying that it has the correct sizes now we want to do a couple more things before we get into the actual product we want to set up our taxes and our shipping and I'm because I'm in the United States I'm gonna base my taxes based on the state I'm in which is Florida so let's go to settings excuse me let's go to WooCommerce settings and we'll go ahead and set up the tax well first let's look at some general settings so we'll know how our taxes are to calculate your base location set it where you're at I'm in the United States Florida and default customers address I use geolocate address so it kind of figures out where they're at but it will get the actual correct tax taxes for the product when they put in their address for example I'm only charging taxes to people in Florida. Other states that order ta uh, order products for me won't be taxed because it's going to actually be based on their location. So and you also need to make sure your currency is set correctly. So we'll go to taxes and we'll look at a couple things here. We want to make sure enable tax calculations is set. And I don't want taxes with the price. I want taxes. I want my prices to be entered for products exclusive of taxes on the storefront and but I'm going to calculate the taxes based on the shipping address 
that way if they're not in my state they don't get charged and I'm going to calculate that based on the items in their cart and of course I'm going to round and I want to display prices in the shop excluding tax and display prices in, in the checkout excluding tax so to have zero tax until they actually enter their their uh, address so that's all said I, no changes there for me so make yours and then I'm going to go to standard rates and under standard rates I'm going to insert this row and my country code is the United States US my state is Florida which will be FL I'm going to skip everything until we get to the rate which is going to be 7% which happens to be 6% for Florida sales tax, 1% for my county. And I'm going to call this tax, uh, sales tax. Give it a tax name of sales tax. I'm going to remove shipping because I'm not going to charge taxes on shipping. It's not required. It's going to be a separate line item. I don't want to compound taxes on top of any other taxes already paid. So we're going to leave that blank. And we're going to save the changes. Okay, we now have our taxes set up. Let's go to shipping real quick. We want to enable shipping. And because we're going to use a sh uh, flat rate shipping for now, I'm going to go ahead and disable the shipping calculator. There's no need for it. Uh, shipping methods can be displayed with a radio button. I'm going to have two shipping methods. I'm going to have flat rate and free shipping. Free shipping is going to be on orders for over 50 bucks. So let's go ahead and set up the flat rate shipping. And I'm just going to give a flat rate. It's enabled. It's allowed all countries that I set in my general settings, which is the United States. Shipping is not taxable. Cost per order is going to be $9.95. Flat rate. We're going to get into more complicated shipping, more complex shipping methods in a later video. We're just, just going to set up the simple flat rate here. You can add a handling fee. Let's say you wanted to add three dollars and ninety-five cents for a handling fee for your packaging products, and we're going to save changes. Now I want to go to free shipping. Now I want to. I've already set it up. I want to enable free shipping, and here under free shipping requires a minimum order amount of fifty dollars, and of course it's allowed all countries, which is basically the countries are set in my general tab which is the United States all states in the United States so I'm going to save those changes or actually I didn't need to do that now we're ready to get into our products so let's go to products add a product and we'll go add a key to puppies and you'll notice I set up some categories here since the last video but let me show you quickly what I did so you can set up your categories I've clicked on uh, products categories this is where you set all your products categories and these are categories I set up I set up a parent category and it had none and then I set up these categories and I assigned them pet supplies for those and then I set up a parent category of pets again with none and then I set up puppies up underneath that because we're only going to do a puppy I've only set up categories for products we're actually going to do in a series of videos and then of course puppies I assigned it the pets as the parent category it's important to leave it I didn't in this video but it's important to put a description for your SEO purposes and you can go into a, a product and further add stuff for SEO name description your name is your title oh excuse me you can tune up here okay and then you can go down here put you an SEO title SEO description it's a couple things you do be sure to do that on each one of your categories I'm just not going to do it in this video for the sake of time so let's go back to products and I'm going to delete this one it was a test product I was working with 
happens to be those right there so I can close out of that we got our images done all right for the Akita puppies I already have some information I already have some information for it we have a short description and we have a main description and I'll show you the differences between this but uh, for now I'm not going to grab this title here because if you remember in the first video or maybe it was the second second part that we added some code to let WooCommerce go ahead and insert the title we give of the product into the description rather than having product descriptions as the title in the description area which I'll show you in a minute it gives the actual product name as the description area so we got we got our description here let me give a little subheading of a three for temperament go ahead and capitalize that and we're going to go to short description and put our short description here and I'm going to show you what's going to happen short description even though we're going to add a price initially this is going to be a basic product I'll put available for in-store purchase only because we're going to turn it into a virtual product because people are going to have to come in to the store to purchase the uh, the pet so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a color to highlight that in the red and give it a mold we're gonna set it up as a basic product initially or simple product okay you got simple group external and variable we're gonna work primarily with simple variable we may get a little bit into grouped later on down uh, so right now show you just quickly show you the difference what happens when you put virtual and and you don't you have inventory management and shipping management here let me see yeah and shipping management goes away on a virtual product there is no shipping so there's nothing required there for regular product you can or, or you don't have to include shipping but you can so we'll give this a price this puppy a price of eight hundred dollars this is going to be taxable and if you remember we set up the standard class at seven percent make sure we got everything well we got to select a category pets and puppies and other things we could do we're going to we could enable stock management I'm not going to do that because they're going to have to come in the store even though I'm setting it up with a price initially online we're going to remove that but they're coming in the store they have to negotiate with a commissioned salesperson for the puppy so we're going to just leave all that shipping you could add dimensions and weight or you could set up variables for it which we'll get into later we'll set up variables call weight we'll set up a variable called dimensions uh, so depending on what we're dealing with we can just use a variable and then add it on each product link products we could upsell cross sell group stuff attributes you can add some custom attributes and then advanced uh, we're going to enable reviews or you can disable it there so let's go ahead and just publish our product here and take a look at it All right, you'll see our short description shows up here, if you recall. Our main description shows up here. Now, don't worry about how it's pushed over to the side or how wide this is. After we get a few products in our database, then we'll come in and customize our site. We just want to get a few products going so we can kind of get a look. We're going to remove some stuff, change some stuff, add some widgets. We're going to completely customize the site. And did I forget to, I must have forgot to put my featured image there and I did so we're going to set that featured image real quick and when you set a featured image you don't really need to save it does it automatically for you and there's our puppy so we have our picture there if we go look at the shop page we'll see that the image is going to be a different size automatically but let's go back and look at our puppy Now let's go ahead and add that to the cart and we will view cart we will also add a cart icon up here uh, or actually here actually we got one already don't we 
All right, so we're going to add a different one. All right, we got flat rate shipping, but I forgot the force free shipping. We could force free shipping, but it would actually be free shipping. There's a way to force it. We'll do that in another video. We're not going to do it this one. I, I completely skipped a step on that. So let's just stick with what we have. So we got the flat rate shipping. And we have a tax of $56. Now, when you do it for your first time, it's probably not going to show that tax. The reason why it's showing it for me is because I've already done a test purchase and it already has my information. But usually it's going to show up zero here. And then when you go to checkout, once the customer fills in his information, it will update the tax right here. But my information is already on the back end, so just take my word for it. The taxes would be zero in the front when they put in their their uh, information here. If their address falls into your tax tax area, then it will show the tax here. And so that is adding a product, uh, a basic, the basic, a uh, simple product. Excuse me, I keep getting that confused. Now we're going to take this price out because we want them to actually come in store. And we're just going to change this to virtual. I'm going to show you what what the difference is, what happens. Let's update that. Let's go ahead and close out of these. And now, and of course, because I changed it, and now you'll see there's no buy button at all. And it's a virtual product, there's no shipping included at all. And on the front end uh, on the shop page instead of getting a add to cart button you get a remord button which will take you there and that's the difference between a virtual and a product with a price so if you if you if you need them to come into your store to purchase or for whatever reason you just want to stick something up there that they can't actually purchase you can set it to virtual to do that so that's covers a few things uh, adding categories adding the products, simple product and a virtual product, adding descriptions, uh, setting the tax rates, setting some basic flat rate shipping and as we add more products we'll be tweaking our shipping and stuff to and adding some variables and stuff to match what we need because we're going to set up products with dimensions and weights and colors and various things like that in future videos. So visit uh, pluginforge.com for really great prices on plugins for WooCommerce. Uh, they're all free if you get a membership. That way you get all the updates and everything free. And visit SkeeterZ71.com for how-to web graphic and web design video tutorials that are all free. And you have a good day.